It's scary how much spirit energy is here. I can actually feel the mana pouring out of that thing. It's nothing short of a miracle that this spirit climb even exists. The slightest disturbance could collapse the entrance. It would take any number of cosmic coincidences to create this place. Doesn't it remind you of the channeling circles used in spirit arts? Actually, yeah, now that you mention it. More importantly, we should probably get inside that thing before Gaius and Musee's battle bring it crashing down. I'll go first. No, that's okay. Going first is kind of my thing. All right. Mm hmm. <laughs> See everybody on the other side. without Lord Maxwell. Lost. No path. No purpose. A powerful spirit like you should think for herself. I don't know how! Please! It can be anyone. It can be you. Give me purpose! You can't mean to betray Maxwell. idea that places like this existed in our world. I don't think we're in our world anymore. Not working? 
strange place. Who's there? These are the temporal crossroads, which connect the human and spirit realms that I created. Are you Maxwell? Maxwell, Lord of the Spirits. I never thought humans would reach this place. We've come a long way to ask you something. We want you to tell us about Mila. Hmm? We heard that you used Mila as bait. Can you tell us why? I see. You must have been her companions. Yes, we traveled together. She taught me to think about many things. About power, and what I must do. And then she died. That's when I finally realized what I should do. What I have to do. And what is that? Destroy the schism. It's the only way to save both Riza Maxia and Olympias. Fool. The outside is overflowing with Spyrexes. Do you wish to destroy all of Riza Maxia? Her reason for choosing death had eluded me until now. But now I am certain. You lot tempted Mila away from her mission. It is because of you she took such foolhardy actions. And now you plan to dispel the schism and bring about the end of the world. Maxwell, please, listen! Bane of my creation, be gone from my world! Point. <laughs> 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 
possibly comprehend what you are attempting to do. We know precisely what we are doing. That is why we do it. Why do you think we came to ask you about Mila? We want to know the truth behind Riza Maxia, and why you would use Mila as bait. What difference does it make? What would change if I told you? We don't know, but not knowing certainly hasn't gotten us anywhere. Two millennia ago, Spyrix appeared in this world. Spirits perished. Nature withered and died. Humans began following the path of annihilation. So I saved all the spirits and animals I could, and I gathered humans born with the ability to produce mana. It was then I created Riza Maxia and sealed them all inside it to provide a haven from the Spyrix. The world is an ark that must sail until Olympias falls. No one may disembark until then. So what? We just twiddle our thumbs until Olympias dies? That can't be the only way to save humans and spirits. It is. But at this rate, the people in Olympias will all die. Pity them not. I had my human allies warn them that Spyrix would bring nothing but annihilation. Yet the humans persisted in its use. Furthermore, once they realized that the spirits in their world were going extinct, they took drastic measures. They launched their assault upon Riza Maxia. You must be referring to what happened 20 years ago. That must have been when the massive hole opened in the schism. Yes. I cannot leave this place, so I created Muse as my replacement to eradicate any intruders. And yet, some folks snuck right in under your nose. And those folks were... Exodus? A clever lot. They avoided my detection and went into hiding. So I came up with a plan. Exodus knew that if I were to die, my schism would die with me. I realized that with the proper bait, I could lure my prey out of hiding. That can't be right. Wait, you don't mean... Yes. I created a life I could expose to my foes that would lure them into the open. You know by now who that is. Mila. How could you? But did she know she was an imposter? I am not so careless. I engraved my words into her heart, and I had her raised to believe she was truly Maxwell. But that means her mission meant nothing. Did she even mean anything to you? Of course. She was an essential cog in my machine. Don't you dare call her that! <laughs> Nothing has changed. I have given you the gift of the truth, yet your response remains the same. You let your emotions control you, and seek to destroy that which you do not understand. You fools do not see the greater vision! You're the only fool here! A lonely human dares address me as such! That's right! Why didn't you try to understand me? Why did you ignore your people? You might care! No break? No! 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 the power of your spirits! Earth, water, wind, fire! All will be led to one truth, one judgment that befalls us all! Elemental meteorite! Not bad. It makes 
no sense. How could people such as these have twisted my cog from her purpose? The hell are you talking about? Mila never changed, not in any bit! Impossible! Do you really not get it? You've got it all wrong! What? Did you really create Mila? Indeed. He seems to know nothing about her. Mila changed. Preposterous. What are you talking about? We all know Mila would never abandon her mission. Then how do you explain her actions? Her mission was never to destroy the schism. Mila sacrificed her life trying to save everyone. She obeyed only her own heart. Nothing she did was for you. What complete nonsense. Taste my wrath and face total annihilation. No, I won't run anymore. I will face my fears. I will know true victory. The great spirits, gather. I won't lose. Earth, water, wind, fire. All will be led to one truth, one judgment that befalls us all. Elemental meteorite. Behold the power of the spirits! No great. Earth, water, wind, fire. All will be led to one truth, one judgment that befalls us all. Elemental in your life! Not yet! Not bad. No matter how many times you regain your feet, I will simply knock you down again. Your life ends here. That may be what you think, but it's not for you to decide. Ridiculous. Look at yourself, fool. You can barely even stand up. Do you really think you have the strength to resist me? Mila? No way! Mila? Is it not Maxwell's mission to protect the future for all of us, both human and spirit? But how can this be? Was this the Four's doing? Uncertain? Uncertainty makes you weak, you know. Are you all sure about this? Okay, Jude. Let's go! Right! Here we go!
to me and said, Mila. It's... it's really you. All right! Just keeps getting better. I'll overcome anything. There's always room for improvement. enough for this reunion to think that we would meet again this feels like a dream but it's real isn't it I'm glad to see you too welcome back Mila thank you
Or am I gonna have to finish you off myself? I do not understand. The Four. Tell me, what is the meaning of this? I could no longer stand idly by and allow you to continue with this folly. Right, exactly. So we decided to help Mila out and bring her to the spirit realm. How dare you? I gave no such order. Lord Maxwell, all people have hearts and minds, just the same as we do. You can't just treat them like tools, even if it does help save the world in the end. Maxwell, you may have been the one to give me my mission. Nevertheless, it was still my own mission. You exerted your own will. And that was a decision that came straight from your own heart. Yes. The world you created seems to serve no purpose other than to exist. But what kind of life is that for its people? I... We all just want to live. I suppose this is why I could not understand your actions. Human hearts truly are complicated things. Perhaps my ignoring that fact is what ultimately led me astray. I shall dispel the schism. Are you serious? Maintaining the schism requires a tremendous amount of mana. Dispelling it will disperse this energy into the world. That should protect the world's spirits. At least for a time, anyway. It will grant us a reprieve of a few years. Possibly even a few decades, at best. Thank you, Maxwell. We'll figure out a solution. Both Riza Maxia and Olympias will live on together. We'll find a way. You have my word. So, Maxwell, you would step down from your rightful place as this world's god? Gaius? Answer me, Maxwell. I have grown weary of constantly being at the mercy of human hearts. Maxwell. If you wish to abdicate your throne as Riza Maxius' god, then I shall sit upon it in your stead. A mere human to replace me as my equal? How absurd! You are not worthy at all! It is not a question of being worthy. It is a question of actually being willing and able. If you cannot fulfill your obligations, then I certainly will. Not so fast. I'm afraid that's not gonna work for me, either. It matters not. I don't need your approval. Such power. It can't be. The Lance of Kresnik? What choice did I have? After all... You refused to tell me what I should do, now didn't you? Muse, have you lost your mind? I cannot allow you to destroy the schism! Maxwell, you shall serve as the cornerstone of your own world! It is my mission to protect the schism! My mission! Mine, mine, mine! Release me right now! That is an order! I'm afraid it's too late. You're always too late! Music, come to me. Are you prepared? Whatever my lord wishes. Behold, 
Yusei's true power. The sword that can slice through space and time. I don't expect we'll meet again. Farewell, my sister. You can't be serious. Why are you doing this? Gaius! For the sake of those who were killed, I will go to Olympias. And you shall return to Riza Maxia, where you cannot interfere! Come on, you gotta be kidding me! Hey there. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm all right, but where are we? This is Balin's residence. Who's that? My cousin. You know, the one in Olympias? I could have sworn I mentioned him before. So that must mean... We made it to Olympias! Rise and shine. How are you feeling? Not bad. I'm fine. Balin, I presume? Yep, aka the guy who saved your butts. Not that it was a dramatic rescue or anything. Running into you was pure luck. Feel free to shower me with gratitude, though. Uh, sure. Hey, Balin, don't we seem, you know, strange to you? Maybe a little bit. I'm surprised you recognize me. It's been 20 years. That's Uncle's gun, huh? You should thank him for it. It's a little tricky thanking the dead. Oh, right. Good point. Huh, where is it? Your cousin sure is... interesting. He's an odd bird. Even for Olympias. You looking at my leg? Uh, no. Jude! Ah, don't worry about it. Childhood mishap. Calibration complete. Balin, stop. Why? Hey, that's... I didn't think folks from the other side would have seen one of these before. A Spyrex. Hold your horses. Huh? Life would be a drag without it. Literally. Oh, you're probably all starving. Why don't you mosey around while I whip something up? It's your first time on this side, after all. Even great warriors can't fight on an empty stomach. Of course, nor are they very effective when they're drowsy after a big meal. As I always say, it's the gear that makes the man. Well... After one scarf, of course. That's your priority?
Is it really you? Do I look like someone else? No. You're Mila, all right. And yourself? You seem different from last I saw you. Really? A little bit. Looks like you grew up without me. Could be. It doesn't change who I am, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you again. Same to you. Tipo, let go. No, it's what you get for making us worry. That's right. I want a hug too. Leave some room for me. Even you, Leia? <laughs> no point trying to fight it. <laughs> Fine. I surrender. I'm sorry for what I put you all through. That includes you, Alvin. Uh, I. That's really not necessary. No need to be coy. Amila won't let you into the group hug. What, you plan on joining in too? I don't mind. Very well then. And I'm out. Oh, that was good eating. Tipo, what exactly is it that you absorb from foes? I'm not really sure. It's like their energy or enthusiasm. Is that nutritious? Beats me. But when I'm hungry, before I know it, I'm chowing down. You really are a peculiar creature. What does enthusiasm taste like? It depends on the person. For example, yours tastes like strawberries. What? When did you absorb mine? I don't need to absorb it to know. I can just tell. Huh. That does sound appetizing. Wait, what? Did you hear they're planning to raise the Spyrex tax again? It's all because of that other world reactor plan thing, right? Honestly, what is the government doing? I'm sure everything will turn out fine on Rize whatever without our help. So you think we should just leave them be? Hey, nobody said that. We should pay their people fair compensation and promise to help them with their development. Pay them with what, though? Our tax money? It's not like we're any better off. Well, you'd hope the government thinks of something instead of digging into our pockets. Either way, someone's got to figure out this energy crisis or we'll all be gone in a few years. Ugh, oh, I can't even worry that far ahead. I've got my hands full just worrying about today. I guess you can't make everyone happy. Must be nice to be so self-absorbed. That's just how people are. I'd be much more scared of a society where people were afraid to speak their minds. Yeah, that's true. Spyrix too. You mean this? Me and my grandma use them too. Really? My granddaughter and I both have a cardiovascular disease, and we've had medical Spyrixes implanted to help with them. I bet it hurt really bad when you put it on, huh? Yes, it did. But you just have to bear the pain, because without Spyrix, we wouldn't be able to live normal lives. I see. You're so brave for being so young. 
Yeah, totally. My grandma always says that. Thanks to the advance in medical Spyrex technology, we've been able to overcome our illnesses. We'll never forget what Dr. Mathis did for us. May his soul rest in peace. Mathis? That's the same as your last name, Jude. Dr. Mathis is the one who created my Spyrex. But he died in a boat accident a long time ago. <sighs> this whole time, I only saw Spyrex as harmful. I never considered it could actually help people. made of stone and metal. It light without channeling spirits hmm. perhaps that cable is somehow conveying luminescent energy to that lamp how could they have possibly built a city this size without using spirit arts it's almost frightening everyone here seems to be just like us except for the part where none of them can channel spirits it's a whole different world but the people are just like us it looks to be that way I can't stand to hear Balin prattle on like that really I find him quite interesting. He's been that way since he was a kid. That's how I knew it was him right away. He's strange, but he's really nice. I know. Unlike me. Nobody's saying that. But watch yourself around him. He has quite a mean streak. Do something embarrassing and he won't ever forget it. He'll torment you with it till your dying day. Like what? If he told you half the dirt he had on me, I'd never be able to show my face around you again. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my skin crawl. <laughs> you guys seem really close. Well, I guess we were friends before he got all cynical. Oh. What's that? You jealous? Absolutely not. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 